incorrectly inflated tyres, whether low or high, have a reduced performance level, which can lead to tyre failure and cause multiple performance and safety issues. One example is an increased risk of aquaplaning, when due to water on the road and incorrect inflation, tyres may lose contact with the road's surface and skate across a film of water, resulting in loss of control. Extreme weather affects tyre performance. Cold temperatures cause a drop in tyre pressure, whilst hot temperatures cause the inflation medium, usually compressed air, inside the tyres to expand, increasing pressure. Both scenarios affect vehicle traction. Additionally, due to changes in temperature, small components of the wheel can constantly contract and expand, increasing the probability of road incidents. A recent study by National Transport Insurance and the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator found vehicles with defects in their tyres are 32% more involved with claims and record 26% higher costs per claim. A related report presents tyre-associated issues as the cause of 59% of recorded mechanical failures. Appropriately maintained tyres and wheels play a critical role in road safety, given that they are the only part of the vehicle that is in contact with the road surface. An older tyre is a worn tyre, I guess, and um, you're carrying massive weight at all, all times. When you're out of a quarry, at, you're at max weight, every load. So you, you need to know that your tyres are, are good. Well, the, the visual checks is always what we, what we go with here. We've got wheel nut indicators on our tyres, so if the, the nuts are coming loose, you can see them. You can have visual checks on tyres, and we also have a, you can have a hammer or a pipe or something, you can, we whack the tyres of the morning, you can hear the different sounds in, in the tyres, if they're a little bit, if they're a little bit down, you'll hear a different sound to a full one. You see that all the time, people mm -hmm. walking and banging them, so th that's why. That's why. Kicking tyres doesn't just generally give you the, the noise you can, we all have a hammer in my truck, some people have pipes in their truck or a little bat. But you can, there's a definite tone difference between a 100, 100 psi tyre to a lesser. I, I, know my, I know my process in my procedure, I've been doing it for a long time, so I know how I work, but that's different to how other people work. And so your biggest bit of wisdom, what would you share? Make sure you do it properly. What would you recommend every driver does to make sure the vehicle tyres are in good condition and can respond in case of emergency? The, the pre-checks are the key. Uh, the old fashioned way of doing things is not kicking it with your foot. That tells you nothing. The sideway deflection doesn't do a lot. It's actually that sound when you get the, um, the um, tyre bar and it's like a drum. And when you go, when you start hitting your tyres, um, depending on the tread compound, some may not bounce. Generally, they do, but it's a sound. And if you've got, you know, it goes B, B, C, mm. well, there's something wrong. You can actually tell, like, one out of four it might have a different sound. You can bet that that one's underinflated. That sound difference? There's a, there's a difference between the outside and the inside. Feels flatter. It's not springing off the tyre as much as what the inside one does. So there's less effort in, when I bang the inside one as it, compared to the outside. Sounds different. Yeah, it's not that much different, but there is a, there is a difference. Being an outside tyre, that cops gutters, it cops everything, you would normally assume that the outside one's vulnerable. There's no real way of telling by side, side wall um, with the foot. Could be roughy, 
but all it'll pick up is a difference like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only a matter of time. Beat will break. The tire itself will start freewheeling around the rim and can quite easily peel and, and all that. Yeah. Gonna generate a lot of heat into that one. And uh, this is what a deflated one sounds like. That's an inflated tyre. It's as simple as that. Pre-start checks are an indicator of periodic inspection. If you notice something unusual, notify your manager and mechanic as soon as possible. When you are completing the pre-start check, look for loose wheel nuts, corrosion, cracks, or elongation of stud holes. If you notice something, report it in writing, and if possible, take a picture. Consider the use of additional elements that help you monitor wheel performance, such as nut locks or indicators. Check the regulations that apply, as well as information from the wheel manufacturer. Check that your vehicle carries the appropriate set of tools to deal with road checks and adjustments. And check the vehicle in real conditions, looking at the tyre pressures when the vehicle has been exposed to the weather for enough time to cool down or warm up. And as recommended by an experienced driver trainer, in the case of tyre failure or blowout, hold the steering wheel firmly, don't brake heavily, and just remove your foot from the accelerator. Steer the vehicle out of the path of other traffic, park on stable ground, and call for assistance. With our indicators, they've all got little arrows, so two nuts join together, and if one's loose, or one moves, generally means that one's obviously loose, or the, so you can check, we check on, I'll check on a weekly basis on now, on my wheel nuts on my truck, just because. Do, do they, can they shift much over time, do you notice or not? If they're not torqued up, they will shift, yeah. If they get a tyre changed and they, they put the tyre on and you forget about it, they will undo without being torqued up. So I'll we'll just quickly dive into that a little bit. So when someone changes the tyre, walk me through, I guess, if you put a new tyre on, what happens there? Well, they'll generally, we, the, the tyre person will come out, they'll take it off, put the new tyre on, and they'll, talk, they'll put it back on with what they can do, but after 50 odd k's, you've got to re-tension them again to make sure that they're tight, because after that, if you roll past, they will, the wheel nuts will undo again. Uh, when I was in training, I had a, a delamination there of a front tyre coming off uh, the Westgate onto the, onto the ring road and uh, at 80 k, and I could hear this so sound, and I thought, oh wow, I've got a turbo uh, blown and then then I could feel something through the steering and instinctively I, I thought no nah, I've, I've got something wrong so I'm looking I'm starting to decelerate and sure enough it delaminated and, and, and virtually peeled off the rim and fortunately because um, of my past involved with Decca and all that sort of thing instinctively I just turned the wheel sort of virtually hard hard left to compensate for the pull uh, uh, to the right and then just nursed it over into the middle nature strip. Uh, that was in the middle of a demonstration drive to a new driver. <laughs> so the demonstration drive has been through the onboarding process, you know, we go around and I'm commenting on what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, and we're going through uh, system driving as such. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, I got a compliment from the trainee though, he thought I did well. <laughs> What did you learn from all this around tyres? Uh, don't really trust them. And stay within in your specs and all that. And be wary. You know, your, your steering wheel is going to tell you what's going on, especially with steer tyres. Um, uh, you know, you feel something a little bit wobbly, a little bit of a vibration, a sound uh, that could be a bit off. Um, you know, I know uh, 
when I worked at Ford Motor Company, you actually used to wind your windows down and you'd, and you'd be driving through the through the plant, um, you know, maybe you know, 10, 15 k thereabouts, and you'd st virtually listen out the window. And if you can hear a tick, 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 tick like that, you'd uh, you've picked up a bolt. What that means is that bolt's going to work further into the tyre if you set off to Broad Meadows and it will blow. Yeah. Wheels and tyre performance are primarily determined by installation and vehicle maintenance by trained staff. Provide training material for internal mechanics and build a strong relationship with your providers. Vehicle maintenance helps you manage the vehicle as an asset. In the long term, maintenance allows owners to make better and prolonged use of the vehicle, keep operational costs down and productivity high, and potentially maximise resale value. Implement systems to prevent mistakes. When dealing with wheels and tyres, small and human mistakes can have a large impact on how the vehicle performs on the road. Create systems that help your staff prevent mistakes, confusion or misunderstandings. Monitor any trends that you can identify when performing periodic maintenance or everyday pre-start checks. It allows you to plan for better maintenance practices and possibly even estimate and prevent future failure. Train your drivers on what to do and not to do when incidents such as a flat tyre or wheel malfunction occur on the road. Maintenance practices are an indicator of the safety culture of your company. For drivers, companies and the whole industry, periodic inspections reflect a commitment to safety.